ChatGPT will make you a better teacher. You just have to know how to use it properly. And this is what I will be doing in this video, showing you my ChatGPT tutorial for teachers and showing you my three-step process on how you can create lesson plans with a fraction of the time without losing any quality. While working my bachelor thesis to connect AI with a voice assistant, I already started dreaming about how one day AI will just create lesson plans for teachers without them having to do any work. And since my bachelor thesis, AI has become much more powerful with especially the implementation of ChatGPT. But I was wrong in my assumption. AI will not create the lesson plan for you. It will help you though create a lesson plan, refine it, improve it and save more of your time. So you'll be able to create the same lessons with the same quality, but in a fraction of the time and also have this personal assistant of sorts that will be able to give you feedback and continuously encourage you to improve the things without actually adding even more things on your plate. The most important thing about working with AI and specifically ChatGPT is defining the success on like what you actually want to accomplish. And the better you do that, the better the result of the output that you will get from the AI. And when creating a lesson plan, I think there are three metrics that you should take particular care in describing in as much detail as possible because this will just result much better outputs from the AI. The first one is students and here you would want to describe your students in terms of like what grade they're in, how old they are, from what cultural background are they from, as well as any previous learning experience they've had so the AI knows with who they work with. The second one would be the objectives and here you can describe any requirements that you have to uphold in terms of curriculum as well as how you're going to assess the students and also the pacing of the lesson on how much time you have in total for that. The last thing that you would want to describe would be the strategy on how you would want to teach the lesson. Is it an inquiry based learning style or a project based learning style or maybe even a direct lesson but I would actually encourage you to switch towards a flipped approach instead of a direct uh, learning approach where you just stand in front of the class lecturing and I have a whole new video about that that you can also check out if you're curious about flipped learning. After defining your success, you can already get the first results from ChatGPT, but you probably don't want to use this right away because you can still refine these results further by adding certain prompts to just change certain aspects of that. So you can just say delete this section or change the wording of this and rewrite this particular paragraph. And with that, you can have ChatGPT do the editing for you instead of just copying it and doing all of the manual labor yourself. And this also applies to the text that you have written yourself or maybe some external text that you want to just be checked for any mistakes or maybe completely translated into a different language. And you can also use this to just add a structure with markdown to add headings and highlights and just bullet lists to make the things a little bit more organized. But it doesn't stop there because you don't just have to use ChatGPT to fix mistakes or improve the writing. You can also use it to change the whole style of the writing. For the last step of the process, I actually wanted to show you the template that uh, you can use because there are specific aspects that I think make this really powerful because when scaling up, I think one of the most important things is saving the prompts that were really useful. So you can just save your prompts here in this toggle by adding them there um, as well as the results that you want to reuse and remind yourself of mistakes that you've made that you want to avoid in the future. So you can just save them here in this prompt and you can duplicate this completely for free by just going to the link down in the description. And there are also other things that you can use to just scale up your general teaching by things you may not have thought of like grading where you can evaluate a text based on certain criteria and just uh, have like copy and paste the text of the students that you want to grade in ChatGPT. So this mostly just works when uh, the assignment is done digitally. 
but here you can also kind of ask for feedback that you would use uh, based on an original example maybe given by you so uh, the ChatGPT can actually give feedback towards the student on the text that was just graded and in the future you will also be able to just take a picture of the assignment so you don't have your students to write these things digitally you can just take a picture of like any test or assignment and scan this in here and it will just like be the same thing and the last part of scaling up is creating these templates yourself and there you can just organize all of your lessons and maybe think of some automations that make the process even faster and then share it with your fellow teachers so they can benefit from the work that you've done and this is kind of what I am doing right here right now sharing this template so you can just grab it down in the description completely for free and if you found this helpful do like and subscribe and I'll see you at the next level